Hello everybody, happy June 24th, 2020. My name is Christopher Saunders and this is the Connecticut Sports Talent Show where we talk all things talents in Connecticut. And on today's show we have the Valley Regional and Old Lyme football player, part of the Old Lyme side. His name, Colby Andrews. He's wide receiver, free safety, kick returner, outside linebacker, punter, and also babysit your kids on the side as well. Colby, it's a pleasure yes. to be able to have you. Thank you for having me. You know, I think before... We get into your time with the program. Just kind of tell me about your sports background, because I know for someone who can play all those positions, you have to be somewhat athletic, and you probably were like that growing up. Well, um, I started football at a young age. I've always played football, and I've played baseball. So I got into football because I've always started watching football with my dad when I was young, and my dad's a big football guy. I used to play that when he was in um, high school and all of his younger ages, so my dad just signed me up for uh, the East Lime Pee Wee Football League, and I used to play quarterback in that, and I got into it, and I really loved football. And then my dad, when I was in eighth grade, he told me, he's like, you can't play if you're, if you're not 110 pounds yet. So I was 100 pounds. My dad wouldn't let me play, so I had to take my eighth grade year off. And then my freshman year, I had an elbow injury. I had to get three surgeries on my elbow, so I couldn't play my freshman year. So... My quarterback and my um, running back, they were like, we need you to play because I've always loved football and I was talking about playing. So I decided to get back into it my sophomore year and I just really like took off from there and I just kept loving football. Do you think the injury that you suffered your freshman year allowed you time to kind of get not just your body in the proper shape, but maybe psychologically as well? Oh, 100%. Yeah, it it made me realize that I need to work for what I want my body to look like and for me to be the athlete that I want to become and in becoming right now, it made me realize that I need to put work into it. And after my elbow injury, I was much weaker than I was. And it just honestly took, like, took me like two times harder to work back, but I loved it ever since and I keep working now. When you first started to become a player with the program and somebody, you know, somebody who they looked upon as more than just, you know, just another player, did they view you as someone who could play all these positions? Because I look at what you're doing, and it's like I feel like you're doing everything but playing quarterback and running back. Um, well, I just try to help the team out, and the coaches put the players on our team where they think we're going to have the most success for, the, for uh, the team to win and try to get a state championship. So I just do what the coaches ask me, and I don't, I don't complain about it because it's, it's fun playing all those spots. For you specifically, though, what is the preparation like? Because, you know, you being a former baseball player, a current baseball player yourself, yeah. I mean, you know about guys who are playing multiple positions. Eventually, you know, eventually it affects their bat because they're trying to work so much defensively. They're not getting the reps as far as the hitting side is concerned. So for yeah. you, how are you able to make sure that, you, you know, that you're on the top of your level for each and every one of these positions? Well, I, I got to give it to our coaching staff on that one because I know that um, – our coach, one of my assistant coaches, and our coach King, uh, they always have us prepared. We after practice, I say we watch film for about an hour and a half, two hours with uh, Coach Sanchez. We're in his office, and we have the whole team in there. We're watching film, and he's just preparing us before every game and every practice. And we'll do during practice, we'll do like mini scrimmages of where I'm going to play and other positions, so I'm mentally prepared um, for the game. When you're watching film, is there a specific position that you feel like is much easier as far as to dissect the film and then on the contrary which one is more difficult when you're watching the film um i'd say it's much harder on the defensive side to watch film because there's more thinking involved and more schemes that we have to prepare for the offensive side um to prepare to stop the offense on and uh on offense i feel like it's more easy just because I've learned the plays and I've understood it more and I've played quarterback so from looking from a quarterback perspective to the wide receiver I know where I should be on the field and it helps me put me in the spot to get open. Do you think also it's it's fair to say that as far as the wide receiver position is concerned you can use your straight athletic ability to beat most defensive backs whereas with you playing defense you like you said you have to know more of the schemes because it takes more than you're, I mean, you're not catching the football unless it's an interception. Yeah. Oh, I definitely say that uh, athletic ability helps on offense opposed to defense because I feel you got to be more smart and aware on defense of what the other 
opposing team is going to do. Now, I know that for people who may not know, Valley Regional and Old Lyme is near the New London area. But because of where you guys play and because you're part of the Pequot, I think a lot of people kind of maybe don't know about the program. So for people who will be watching this, just talk about the culture and the program itself because I'm intrigued as well. Yeah, so the program has been on top for super, super long time. Coach King's done great with the program. Um, we've never really had a bad, uh, a horrible season, a bad season, I'd say. We have, in my opinion, the best coaching staff in the area. I mean, I don't know any other coaches that put in like as much work as we do. Uh, we're having Zoom meets, Google meets, watching film. We've been doing it for a month now, at least, watching film over the over the phone and putting in new plays, installing new defensive plays, offensive plays for us to get prepared for the season. So, just doing it this early in the off season is just like it's going to help us so much more. This comes around, it's going to be like second nature to us. And that, you know, that, that winning culture, I would think in some ways has to take some pressure off of you guys just because you know that you have that, you've built it up. But do you guys yes. feel like every now and again, like, you have to live up to the expectations? Um, personally, I don't feel that way because I just go out there and give it all I got every time. And I know that my boys and me are doing the same thing. We, we don't try to live up to an expectation. We just, we're just out there to win and have a fun time. Now, looking specifically at you, you talked about before we came on that you've been in contact with Bowdoin, Springfield, and some other programs. Are they viewing you as an offensive piece, a defensive piece, or both? Um, I know that it's, it goes both ways with a few colleges. Okay. And I know Springfield looks at me for like the offensive aspect of it. And, and personally, for, for me, I... I play anywhere just because I support so much it doesn't really matter to me where I play it's just as long as I'm on the field and getting, getting the reps in that's all that matters yeah I think at the end of the day it's just about the reps if you can get as many as possible I mean it, it's hard to replicate reps especially if you're just having fun but if you're in a practice area I mean it's yeah. it's got to make it much easier for you to be able to get that work in yeah now have you been able to have you been able to look at what the CIAC has given as far as the rules are with the whole, you know, trying to protect each other and the six feet and all that. Yeah, I've, I've heard about, I've heard about it. I'm, I haven't, I'm not an expert on it. I've heard about some of the stuff that they're doing, and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't have much of an opinion on it. As long as we can play, I'm just, I just, I just want to win and get out on the field. But for you and for the team, do you think it's going to be like kind of like an adjustment period for you guys, only because, you know, there's going to be certain things yeah. that have been a norm for basically your whole life. And now it's yeah. going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Well, I think uh, an area where it affects like most as a team is like the working out part of it because mm -hmm. um, luckily for me, I have an at-home gym. So I've been working out every day, but I know that a lot of kids on the team rely on body weight exercises and that. So it's just, it puts, uh, I think everyone at a disadvantage right now. Yeah. It's tough because, you know, the gyms just opened back up about a week and a half ago, give or take. And yeah. it's... At least for my gym, because I go to Planet Fitness, it's one of those things where there's not a lot of people. Some people are wearing masks, other aren't. You know, others aren't. There's a yep. lot of social distancing going on. It felt like it was normal, but then at the same time, and I feel like the same thing with sports because we don't know how many games are going to be played. This whole it, it still doesn't feel normal, you know. Yeah, no, it definitely it doesn't feel normal because right now. We have these things called uh, Saturday mornings. We'll show up at 9 a.m. at the field, and we'll have a whole t our whole team practice. Or not team practice, but we'll get conditioning in as a team. Mm -hmm. And right now with the social distancing thing, it's uh, we haven't been able to do it. So I feel like that even puts us more at a disadvantage, that we can't connect as a team and really become better and grow. Kobe, I really do appreciate you coming on, and you're welcome to come back on to the show anytime. Whenever you make your commitment, wherever it is, come back on and – you can talk about why you committed to the school and all that good stuff. Perfect. Thank you for having me. No problem. That'll wrap things up in the Connecticut Sports Talent Show. So as always, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.